Hello dear friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to a new question about dermatology. Which one of the following factors would predispose a patient to forming keloid scars? A. Having white skin. B. Incisions along relaxed skin tension lines. B. Being aged 20 to 40 years. D. Being female and E having a wound on the lower back as we can see this uh, uh, question is asking about the risk factors of keloid scar formation and having white skin incision along relaxed skin tension lines being female and having a woman uh, having a wound on the lower back these all are uh, pr protective factors or the factors which decrease the risk of uh, keloid scar formation but in young people being aged between 20 to 40 years keloid scar formation is common then the answer can be being aged 20 to 40 years explanation keloid scars are more common in young black male adults as we said in young people and in black here was uh, 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 one of the choices was having white skin it's not common in white skin people in people with white skin but it's very common in people with uh, dark or black skin and male adults another choice here is being female in female keloid scar formation is is not common but uh, in contrast it's common in male adults keloid scars a keloid is an abnormal type of scar that forms due to the overgrowth of fibrous tissue after skin injury. Unlike normal scars, keloids extend, extend beyond the original wound borders and do not, uh, do not regress spontaneously. Um, keloid scar formation uh, caused by excessive collagen, mainly type, type uh, 3 to type 1, deposition during wound healing, predisposing factors of keloid scar formation. Uh, ethnicity, as we said, more common in people with dark skin and occur more commonly in young adults and are rare in their elderly. As we said, it's common in uh, young adults aged 20 to 40 years. Common size of keloid scar formation. In order to decreasing frequency, sternum is the most common site of keloid scar formation and the second one is shoulder, the third one is neck, the fourth one is face and extensor surface of limbs is the fifth one and one is the sixth common site for keloid, keloid scar formations. As we can see here, here we can see the keloid scar on the sternum of this patient and here we can see also keloid scar formation on the shoulder, on the neck, on the face and extensor surfaces of the body and the trunk. As we can see it's common in people with black or dark skin. Note, keloid scars are less likely if incisions are made along relaxed skin tension lines as we say we can see in this uh, question uh, one of the choices is incisions along relaxed skin tension lines uh, this one decreases uh, their incision along relaxed skin tension lines decrease the risk of keloid scar formation okay uh, as we can see here these lines is called kilo uh, is called uh, skin tension lines if the incision is done uh, in their Mm, in, along this uh, re, along uh, relaxed skin tension lines or along uh, the relaxed of these lines then the risk of uh, keloid scar formation decreases uh, importantly treatment of uh, keloid scars mm, early keloids may be treated with intralesional steroids example uh, triamcin alone and in some cases mm, uh, incision is uh, required uh, if their uh, keloid scar formation is in the faces or in the neck or in the parts of the body which is uh, which has the beauty impact on the patient then uh, we can excise them and remove them okay this uh, this was a short explanation about keloid scar formation uh, and their risk factors and management of keloid scar formation thank you for your attention